yeah, that's why 500 multiplied by five. This five, right? Is that what you're referring to or no? Yeah, so we are assuming it to be like exactly at the center. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I poop it up. Right, because the thickness is 10, half. Two pine, one pine. Come to my office. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, sorry, I miss, I, I miss heard you. They all, they, all, they all know when when a plane is going to, like it's on a nose dive, going to crash, they don't use a male's voice. You are going to crash, you are going to crash. You know what voice they use? They use a female voice. You are going to crash. You are going to, then the pilot will react. I'm the same, okay? I'm sorry, but it is. You have watched documentary about, about fighter planes with voices. They always use what? Female voices, regardless of the pilot, either a male or female. If a missile is be behind you, a missile is trailing you. Nothing. A missile is trailing you. Oh, you're yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, go back to the... <laughs> Why am I... The... Okay, going back to the question. Yeah, going back to the question. So you will have... Right? So this is I mentioned about moment Z at point A kinetic. So three over five. So it's going to wait okay, three over five. Wait, uh, three over five. Three over five. 3 over 5 multiplied by 1,000, multiplied by 10. So 3 over 5. So you have 6,000. Plus by 2500. Zero, zero, minus by 2by. And then. I have not a clue what is our uh, AGY. Okay, so this is equal to 15.528 times 5. So it's good 77.64. 77.64 AGY. Plus. IG, okay, so this is a, is a slender bar, so it's 1 over 12. Mass is at, what is our mass? I forgot. Mass is at 500 divided by 32.2. The entire length is 10 squared, okay? And then this will be multiplied by alpha, okay? So the form of this equation is 6,000 plus by 2,500 is 8,500 minus by 2BY. And this will be equal to 77.64 AGY. Okay. And you have 1 over 12 times 500 divided by 32.2 times by 10 times by 10. So it's equal to 129.4. OK, so I forgot. So we have our equation one. So now we have our equation two. OK. So now, like before, 
there's nothing, no more equation that we can form. And we still cannot solve this problem. Unfortunately, it's not 2p. If it's 2p, you can say that it's statically what? Indeterminate. Right? Remember? Right? You have a statically indeterminate. So when statically indeterminate, you can you can rely on what? Deflection is equal what? PL over AE, right? This case we can't, but in, that's, that's the beauty of uh of of dynamics. So from here. We now go into kinematic analysis. Okay. We cannot use statically indeterminate solving with why we cannot use uh, PL over A. E. Anyone? Hey? There's no what? No, that's not the answer. What do we assume? Rigid what? Rigid body. So from here, what we can do, right? We can find out what is acceleration at point B. Why I put point B, pick point B, because point B can only go what? Left and right. Because B is still there. This problem occur when A is a failure or, or failure occur at point A. Okay. Then from here, I can use our AG. So over here, directly at the center is our point G. Okay, and then we're going to have plus alpha cross R uh, B from point G minus by omega squared R B from point G. So remember, the answer did tell us to neglect what? Okay, neglect the thickness. So point G and at point A B is basically at the same what? Same level. Are we clear? Okay. So from here. So at point B, we know that there's a minus. There's only a minus A B I. Okay. Because when the things when the things fall, we know the acceleration will go this way. Okay. Then at point G, we know the acceleration will go this way. And I'm going to assume the acceleration will go this way. Okay. So this is I A G X. This is our A G Y. Okay. So this will give us minus A G X I minus A G Y J. Okay. And then alpha, we know we're going to guess the acceleration will go this way because when it breaks, okay, this is the direction of the what? Of the motion. Okay. So anti clockwise is positive, positive uh, alpha k cross RB, right? Point B from point G. So if this is halfway, this is. 5, that is 2, so it's equal to 3. So you have uh, 3 G3i okay, minus omega squared 3i. Okay. So we know that omega is equal to 0, so this term is cancelled. Why omega is equal to 0? Because we are going to just determine the what? Initial. Okay. So due to okay. So from here we can formulate minus ABI 
is equal to minus a g x i minus a g y j k cross i is positive so plus by three alpha j so now we only need to focus on the j component so by focusing on the j component what we have is zero is equal to minus a g y plus by three alpha so from here we know that a g y is equal to what three alpha okay so knowing a g y is equal to what three alpha so now if we go back to our equation so from equation number two Okay, from equation number two. All right, so if I were to write out, or oh, I'm going to copy and paste equation number two. We have this expression over here. So now we know what is our a g y in terms of alpha, yes or no, All right? So we can, and we're going to substitute a g y is equal to what three alpha. So you have eight five o o minus two b y is equal to seventy seven point six four three alpha plus by 129.4 alpha, okay? So you will have 8500 minus by 2by, and this will be equal to 7.64 times 3 plus 129.4. So I will get 362.32 alpha, okay? So if I were to move things around, so by is equal to 8500 divided by 2 minus by 362.32 alpha divided by 2. So 8500 divided by 2. Is equal to four two five zero minus by three six two point three two divided by two one eight one point one six alpha. So now this is our equation number three. Okay. So we have our. So next we know that our we have a relationship. Right. So from equation number one. Yes, sir. So I just look at J component. Three I. So the distance. So here to here is five. This is two. So this distance is three. Am I right? It is, right? Okay, three. Okay, so we have our, our BY. So we are going to look into now. When, when it's up to here, the analysis is done. So you just need to solve what? Uh, simultaneous what? Equation, okay? So from equation number one, right, you have, we have a relationship where we have minus 1100 plus by by 
is equal to what? It's equal to minus 15.528. Okay. And 15.528, uh, you have this as A, G, Y. Okay. 15.528, A, G, Y. So now you know that A, G, Y is equal to what? 3 alpha. Okay. So you're going to substitute a G Y is equal to three alpha into equation number one. Okay, so minus one one o o plus by B Y is equal to minus fifteen point five two eight uh, three alpha. So you have minus one one o o plus by B Y is equal to 15.528 times 3 minus 46.584 alpha. So from here, by is equal to minus 46.584 alpha 